Another oddity about Houdini is that although he invents an encyclopedia of fictions about himself to advance his career, he also makes headlines as a mythbuster. Uh, I was very invested in dispelling uh, myths. He spent a lot of his career trying to set the facts straight. The spiritualist movement is big business in the wake of World War I and the influenza epidemic taking millions of lives. Grieving masses are desperate to connect with their departed loved ones, and mediums claim they can communicate with them for a price. Houdini becomes the debunker, targeting the spirit mediums who are raking in a fortune in the 1920s. I think Houdini thought of most mediums as being small. That's because Harry doesn't believe in an afterlife, right? I think he did believe in an afterlife. He was the son of a rabbi, I believe. I believe he believed in, in God. He believed in an afterlife. He just didn't believe that the afterlife could reach back to us. Houdini often attends seances to expose the medium's trickery. At one seance, he witnesses one of the strangest fictions that mediums parade as fact, the so-called spirit trumpet, in which the instrument seems to levitate in a darkened room and amplify the voices of the dead. Houdini sees right through the trick, and if he can slip briefly from his chair, he has an ingenious way of exposing it. A little bit later, the lights came on, and what had happened is Houdini had taken a handful of soot and put it in the spirit trumpet in the dark. And so after the seance, when the lights came on, the medium had it all over his face and hands and so forth. And it was pretty hard for him to explain how if he never touched the trumpet, he was um, caught sort of black-handed, as it were. <laughs> 